Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of International Computel Corporation to Project Time Rider. Project Time Rider is the 16th in our series of experiments in time travel. And today will be our first experiment with a live animal. <clears throat> a live female rhesus monkey named Esther G. <laughs> uh, this experiment, once again under the direction of Dr. Samuel Steller, hopes to send Esther G. back in time to the year 1862 and return her safely. Because of the sensitive nature of this experiment, and because International Computel is not connected with the government in any way, the location of the project bunker and the location of the send back pad site is secret. I'd like to thank all of you for coming today and to welcome you to the fascinating and wonderful new world of time travel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's all in there. Can you tell? I can tell. Whoever he is, he can sure ride a bike. Uh, that's Swan. Oh my God! Could have made a lot of nice bucks all these years riding for his team. Oh, he's always been a great rider, Jed. He'd win if he could finish. Got a crack as that. Oh, no offense, Jess. Oh, Jess, you turn a good wrench. I just wish you'd stop playing those flashy toys and let us get in back of you. Why, you guys could be smoking with a little factory support. Uh, well, you know, Swan. Took some time. How's that transmitter? It's pretty hard dance without music. It's okay now. I think I got it fixed. How many different bikes you used to make this? I made it kind of from farm animals, Mr. Earl. Runs like a rocket up to 60. At which point I punch this little button here, the whole thing turns into an adult motor. Now that's what I've been it. telling you guys. You just gotta get serious. Why? <laughs> okay, you're up too now, Lyle, and she'll climb like a goat. 65 is top of those teeth. Don't you seize this sucker. Now, I got two inches of foam between the casing and the transmitter. That'll stop the breakup. This picks up at checkpoint one, providing you don't crash and burn. At mile 14, outside checkpoint one. There's a See number three around dust. Bear left. Keep the Bojan cactus on your right. Avoid blind order. 
take the high side. Once over the top, head due south to checkpoint two. Stop tape. Dr. Sam, I have an error in the path of almost one mil radian. Program based? No, it's time based. What about that windstorm? Where is it? 200 miles northwest. We're still tracking it. Could hit us in two hours, maybe one and a half. Okay. Hang on to your hat, darling. for automatic. Bring up camera four to exterior. Justified. How's Esther? Asleep. Path is stable. Pre light complete. Holding green. Perimeter violation. Sector 4. Terry, Perimeter is that for real? I don't know. I'll Sector check. Four. Perimeter violation. Jesse. Jesse, this is Swan. You read me? Jesse. Watch for tall rock formation on the right. Double back in three miles. Mark with an old tire. 
Field start up now. Field is up. Oh, crap, this thing is useless. Jesse! Transmitted by a maser velocity accelerator from before 1982. Huh. You're up for bring back. Ray, tech two. Harry. We got it on replay. Give me position and zoom control. Do you read Esther? Beyond communication, Dr. Sam. Doctor, countdown. When ready? 60 seconds to bring back. Get your programs in. The motorcycle. On a motorcycle. Jesse, this is Swan. Do you read me? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 15 seconds. 5, 4, 23. Start your countdown. When ready? 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, Jesse! 12, 11, 10, He's still alive. Get the field team mobile. Don't disturb anything in the perimeter. I want to know who he is, what he's riding, the direction in which he left, and above all, I want absolute silence on this matter until I say different. If I'm right, sir, he stepped out about 105 years back. Around 1875. 1875? Come on, Whitey's. Well. We've got our experiment now, don't we?
Manuel, hoy es eso tú. ¿Y qué es eso? Glad to see you. Where the hell am I? English? Speak English? Uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe you could show me on this map here where uh, where I am. Are you okay? Hey, come on, get up. Come on. Hey. Hey. Hey, what? Mister. Mister, what? Hey. Hey, senor. Senor. Hey. Senor. Senor! Hey, mister! Hey, Swan. Swan, can you read me? This is Jesse Hartline at Santa Inez. Does anybody know what happened to number 82? Any sign of them? I ain't seen them. No, I got it with me. Swan. Swan, do you read me?
luck, Jack. If you don't mind splitting the tape three ways. <laughs> bullshit! This whole thing is bullshit. Them rags is bullshit, and so are you. Easy, Jack. Easy. Well, I just had it with your ordering and all this Mexico crap. All right. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. I'm going back up north. This is the dumbest damn deal I ever seen. Jesus Christ, you're a little cranky this morning, ain't you? Put the gun down. Put it down, hell! Didn't you hear me? I'm leaving. Now, bring me my share of them things. <laughs> I'm gonna be sorry to see you go, Jack. But you're gonna have some beautiful silk to take up north, huh? Hey. Silk? Hmm. Hey, hey. Dumb bastard. Dumb damn deal, huh? You shot Jack, Reese. Kid. What was I gonna do? He took his gun out. Now yeah, hold on a second, Reese. He said he was gonna go back. Goddamn marshals catch his ass, they catch ours. Makes sense what he says. Rags, huh? That's fine silk. Rags ass. Sorry, Jack. I don't think you'd be needing these anymore. There's a nice Oh, no. Look at this. Hey. No holes in it. Hey, you gonna take it? No, it's trash. Could I have it? It's trash. I told you no. it's trash. Hey, hey. Hey, Claude. You like that? It's trash. Look, it goes good with my watch bit. It's trash. Take that off. Hey, look at this. Look at this hair. <laughs> that look good? Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Hurry up, boys. Let's go. Put him in the ground first. Well, let's go. Should we bury him? Swan, I'm tracing you back through the course, pal. So if you can copy, we can't transmit. Rig a locator, and I'll find you. Jesse Hartline, I'd like to talk to you about Lyle Swan. Jesse, do you read me? God Almighty, does anyone read me? It's getting stone weird out here.
up here. That thief in San Marcos charges more for his water than the goods are worth. You don't pull that shit on me. Yeah. I'm really worried. I got I will. I told you I'll talk to him. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. I said I was gonna talk to him. I'll talk to him. Now, just shut up. Reese, uh, uh, Carl and I have been thinking. Yeah, we've been thinking. And, uh, I think, uh, we think that, uh, uh we shouldn't have left Jack back there without Barry. Yeah, we should have buried him. Jack Peoples was nothing but trouble from the time you brought him in. I work hard to steal this stuff, and it's mine, goddammit. Now, piss on him. Piss on you, too. That's the last word I want to hear on the goddamn jackass people, man. Holy God. What the hell are you looking at? Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, 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 shit.
Jack Peoples. Figures. I'll take point. Ben. Ben! We're out of our jurisdiction! Strange looking wagon track! Chicken shithead, you yellow crap head! Damn you, Reese. Don't you talk to me like that? Hey, Claude! Reese, look at this. It's a compass made in a glass. It says America. He's right, it does say America. <laughs> hey, he's heading up Rock Gorge. You ain't gonna get away. <laughs> hey, I like this car. I like this one bit. Did you see that thing spit at me like that? Yeah, I see. It. Blue rocks all over me and everything. that machine, we'd have won the war.
eight, uh, four, five, four. Lucky. Those are very bad men. No shit. Hey, what the hell's happening here, huh? I mean, why are those guys shooting at me like that? Hey, look, I was just in the Baja 1000, the race, and, uh, well, I got lost. Hey, you got a phone I can use? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll reverse the charges. Um, I just need to call someone, let, let them know where I'm. Do you have a phone? That's enough! She shot Carl. I'm going to kill her. Enough! Quinn! I can't have my men being shot. Damn, Reese. He's hurt real bad. Oh, God! She blew his nose clean off! Oh, Carl! God damn her! Oh, Carl. What are you doing here, Reese? What do you know about this? What I know is that that rider is dead meat. And that machine is mine. Now, where is it? Nothing else is gonna happen. Go on, get out of here. Settle this later. He needs tendon. Go on, get out of here. Come on, come on. There ain't no dealing on this one, Padre. That machine is mine. Hey, look, if, if, if I was trespassing, I... Maybe I could. Uh, where am I? You're in San Marcos. San Marcos. Oh, I see. Well, I, uh, I didn't see it on the map. Take it easy. This is just my map. And, uh, San Marcos. Where are you from, my friend? Canoga Park, L.A. L.A.? Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. Hey, uh, hey could you show me where San Marcos is? I told you. You are in San Marcos. Don't be afraid. No tengo miedo. No tengo miedo, mis amigos. Silencio, mis amigos. Silencio. 
you said, you said if we brought this water from you, we would be saved. Huh? No, El Diablo and Bruja is coming again. I tell you, no. Yes. But the devil, he is here. We saw his red and his fire horse. And you said this was a holy place. Safe from Satan, holy water, fire. Is this is a man. He is not the devil. No, it's Diablo. And who is this devil man? Where has he come from? Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's Santa Maria. Oh, it's Santa Maria. Oh, it's Santa Maria. Oh, it's Santa Maria. Jesus Christ. Two American marshals are here. What do they want? Marshals? Well, Reese and the Dorset boys. And they don't say they're marshals, but they are. It's beautiful, senor. Where did you get this man? Got it at an Exxon station. You take care of the marshals. I'll take care of him. Okay. But that machine stays here. people some kind of cult a religious outfit you know Harry Harry like that no well, why do you live like this then I mean I've been coming down to Mexico a long time but I've never seen a place like this uh, no thanks uh, listen uh... Claire Claire Senior. Lyle. Lyle Swan. Claire, I'm here by mistake. I don't mean harm, and I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm not the law. I got no business here, and I'm sorry for whatever it was I did that made everybody so mad. And if you'll just take me back to my motorcycle, I'll ride out of this town, and, and I'll never look back. I, I, I don't know what it is that you, that you people are doing, and I don't want to know, and I won't say a word. I'll just ride out, and as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this place is history. Take off your clothes. What? You heard me, Mr. Swan. I do not believe this. You can't. <laughs> I mean, a girl can't. I'm very serious. You take them off. Sector 12 search is negative. Begin search sector 13 on my mark. Now. There's no telling where that guy is. Where are you from, Lyle Swan? How did you get here? Why have you come here? It's all right, Claude. It's Quinn. How is he? Piss poor. What the hell's the matter with her? Goddamn bad for business. Oh. Uh -huh. 
man the machine. He has a power. She's acting strange. She be acting dead. She don't shoot no Dorset. Nobody shoots no Dorset. Man the machine. Everybody's acting strange. Two American marshals are here. They're asking for you by name. One of them's Ben Potter. Damn! Ben Potter. <laughs> You're the strangest woman I've ever met. Because I know my own mind, Mr. Swan. Why don't you call me Lyle? I'd prefer not to. Hey, who are you? Hmm? Where are you from? What are you doing here? I told you I'm Claire Sinier. I was born in Louisiana. My father was a planter. I had two brothers who taught me to shoot and ride. I went to school there. The Civil War came. My brothers and my father were killed, so I left with my mother. We went to New Orleans. She died soon after. Left me with two choices, to use my body or my gun. I chose the gun to get money to eat. There was some trouble. I heard of this place. So I came here. The Padre and me, we buy things from people that it'd be difficult for them to sell elsewhere. And then we sell them. Civil War. My God, what's happening here? Claire, do you realize how weird everything you just said to me was? I mean, what, 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 what in the world is happening here? You ride this machine, Mr. Swan. No one's ever seen that before. It's you who should be explaining. Yeah, well, um, I started riding motocross right out of high school. You went to school? Can you read? <laughs> well, sure, I can read. Got any books? Do you mean do I have any with me? Yes. <laughs> no, Claire, I don't carry books with me. <laughs> I have three books. Would you like to see them? Sure. Have you read Mark Twain? A little, in school. Did a report on Tom Sawyer once. I haven't read that one. You haven't? Well, that's his most famous. I only have these. You can read? Read this. What might it be that you've got in the box? And Smiley says, sort of indifferent, like? It might be a parrot, or it might be a canary, maybe. But it ain't. It's only just a frog.
So the fella took the box <laughs> and put up his $40 a log with Smiley and sat down to wait. <laughs> Mr. Swan. What's this? Uh, it was my great, great, well, I don't know, way back there someplace, great grandfather's. My grandmother stole it from him. Okay. As a reminder of what an incredible night they had together. He took off and she went to LA to find him and never did. She started her own business. Nobody remembers what, at least they ain't saying and became the great matriarch of the Swan Clan. She passed it on down to her granddaughter, none like that. To Mom gave it to me when I was 21. Anyway, it's supposed to bring me luck. Does it work? Does it ever. <laughs> Kiss me again. Quinn, what do you want? He has to leave now. The marshals, Reese, it's too much trouble. That's the best thing I've heard. So then he leaves. I'm through with him. My bike. Emil. Bastards. He's alive. Oh. Reese, where are the hell are these cops? Never mind, I'll find them myself. Clean shot. What's he carrying? Can't tell. Maybe he's dangerous. Should I let him come? Carrying a sidearm? Nothing but that thing in his hand. It don't look like no weapon. Okay. Let him come. You the law? Damn it, are you the cop or not? Don't press me, boy. Madre here says you was a marshal. If you are, I need help. If not, just tell me. Look, Ben, I know we're alone, except for your friend. I don't understand what's going on here myself. I don't like his smart mouth. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I lost my temper. But somebody stole my bike. His machine. OK, my machine. Someone took my machine. Why are you telling that to us? Well, if you are the marshals, I mean, maybe maybe you could do something for whoever took it gets too far. I mean, uh, can't you get on the radio? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, don't tell. Hey, am I crazy? Who are you people? Hey, I want some answers. Where's my machine? 
Reese and Dorset. You know these guys? We know them. Where are they? Swallow's camp. Swallow's camp, where's the... Is race. I didn't bring you nothing. Some kind of machine? Wow. What in the hell is it? It's mine, that's what it is. It's mine. That's the way. You should have killed her, Claude. Bringing her here ain't nothing but trouble. Hey, Carl. Hey, Claude. Hey, Carl. I got a present for you. <laughs> I'm going to take a long time cutting you, Claire said ye. on these two black I things. I saw him do that. Well, and, and, and then he, uh, he jumped up and down on it. Up and down. Yeah, he jumped up and down on it and uh, kicked it up there. Kick it again. Harder. Kick it. You did real good. You made it work. It'll... You 
shot it. What a bunch of dumb sons of bitches. You shot it. A machine. You buttheads. Hey, Reese, you got an arrow in it. What a pet. How many do you think there are? Oh, Twelve, maybe fifteen men. Enough guns for an army. Where do you think your Reese is? That far cabin. Claire's in there, too. Do something to her now. I'm going to burn you. Here, come. Ain't no gal going to go with a man like me. Unless she looks like me. Later, Later. 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 All right, Claude. That's it. That's enough messing with the woman. All right. I'm in. I'm with you. Listen, I don't know what your plan is, but you help me get my bike back, and I'll get us into a high zoo boogie like you never saw. What's he talking about? You help me get my machine, and I'll help you kick ass. Why should we trust you? Why not? There's no need to talk now. We'll move in after dark. After dark. Yeah, but what about Claire? They'll grind her to pieces. Well, whatever happens, we'll rest with you. She wouldn't be there if you hadn't come along. Claude. Stick to crime. Energy bar. Want one? What? Um. Energy bar. Huh. What is it? Well, it's some dried nuts, fruit, no preservatives. Uh, come on, thank you. You like it? Good, huh? Yeah, thanks. Don't turn your back on those two. How far do you think it is to the cabin? I don't know. Can't see a thing. Try this on. And look at the light on the roof of the cabin. What light? Come on, try it on. Here, let me help you. I already told you I can't see. What difference is the hat gonna make? Can 
you see anything? Take a look at it now. Oh, Lordy. Blessed chief. What the hell are you? Trick, huh? My wrench made this out of techno goodies out of Silicon Valley. Where'd that light come from? This thing a uh, stop a rifle slug? God, I don't know. I, I don't think so. It's not really made for that. I mean, it'll handle a major get off, but I never got uh, shot at before today. That machine and uh, these clothes, this here light. Where'd these come from? Uh, tinker toys, mostly. See, I hang with technoid types. We party, and they come up with all this Bonnaroo boogie. Bike's a bunch of Jap parts. Real zoot, huh? Silum from Kmart. Shut up. Shut up, you idiot. are all dead. One sound, I'll blow your brains out. This is me and Reese. Anybody else makes a play, I'll look for you to stop them. Otherwise, you stay down and stay quiet. Is he crazy? Porter Reese killed Ben Potter's son two years ago in San Marcos. Everybody knew it was personal between them. What if Reese kills him? Ben ain't never been beat in a fair fight. The first mother's son that moves other than Reese is a dead man. We're to see to that. Get your rig. Let's find some cover. Get out here, you garbage. Telling the truth, it's Ben Potter. I want you personal. When I get ready, you open the door. What's the matter? You yell it? Not yell. Smart.
Someone drug your machine off. Dillers and Hager dead. Egg's head's clean off. That's the Yankee trick. I'll take this. We're going back down there, mister. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. This is ridiculous. I mean, I mean it's barbaric. You can't just kill somebody like barbaric. that. Barbaric? What's barbaric? This is survival, mister. You take this. Survival? Your friend just got blown away. I mean, he stood up right in the middle and walked right in. Well, maybe you just don't understand anything about honor. Honor? Wait a minute. Take your hand off. Okay, okay. Listen, there's no need for any trouble between you and me. I mean, uh, we still got to get the girl out of there. I don't give a damn about that girl. Okay, I understand. I want the girl. You want Reese. But we got to work together on this thing. Together. But you figure the other marshal and the man in red? Yeah. The machine ain't far, Claude. Something's wrong out there. I told you it weren't right, didn't I? I told you. Now go on. Dr. Sam, we've set you for three hours search and return. Is that okay? Okay. But Gene says this level of power is smoking the wires. There's two towers down between here and Mexicali, so three hours is absolutely the limit.
Carter. He's gone. No, he's not. He'll be okay. He just lost a lot of blood. Gotta get him back. Oh, my. He was okay. He was riding okay. <laughs> Get Reese. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> Not my jurisdiction. Have the machine. Give them the machine. Then they'll let us go. What's that? Can you read me? Can that voice help? Yeah, I'm right.
Let's go. Come on. of one incredible night they had together. He took off, and well, she went to L.A. to find it, but never did. She started her own business. Nobody remembers what, at least they ain't saying. And became the great matriarch of the Swan Clan. Anyway, it's supposed to bring me luck. Thank you. 